So you can try, so in this case, we're going to use the lower substrate first. And our section is molar mass. And everything else comes around. Try that. You use the molar mass of an element or compound to convert between the mass of a substance and the moles of a substance. Here, Joe Corkery is determining the mass of one mole of aluminum oxide. First, he is identifying the conversion factor relating the moles of aluminum oxide to grams of aluminum oxide. Then, he's multiplying the number of moles by the conversion factor to get 964 grams of aluminum oxide. So, there's the molar volume as well as the molar mass, which is the amount of volume that one mole of any gas takes up at standard temperature and pressure. This follows Avogadro's hypothesis, which states that all gases at the same temperature um, and same pressure will have the same... If they all have the same volume, they will all have the same number of moles. The molar volume is 22.4 liters, and what that means is that at standard temperature and pressure, which is 0 degrees Celsius and 101.3 kilopascals, also known as one atmosphere, there are 22.4 liters of any gas in one mole of said gas. No, it's just not stupid. This is calculating gas quantities at standard temperature and pressure. For this, we're going to use sulfur dioxide. And the number of moles we're going to use is 0.6 moles. And the conversion factor is 1 mole sulfur dioxide equals 22.4 liters of sulfur dioxide. We're going to identify the conversion factor. So we put 22.4 liters of sulfur dioxide above 1 mole sulfur dioxide. And next, we have to multiply the conversion factor by the given number of moles which is 0.6 moles. And then when we're done with that, and after um, units cancel, we get 13 liters of sulfur dioxide.